Hello, and a very warm welcome back to my channel. Tonight, we give you a piece of breaking news from New Idea magazine. Regretful Harry abandoned Meghan to rush home. Please forgive me, Dad. Prince Harry has reportedly made a secret trip back to the UK, leaving Meghan and baby son Archie behind in Los Angeles. A source close to the royal family tells New Idea that Harry made the mystery dash to see his father, Prince Charles, and brother, Prince William a move that is said to have angered his wife. Rumor also has it that Harry landed into the UK last weekend on a private jet, the insider claims. There has certainly been a flurry of activity around Frogmore, where he would be undergoing mandatory quarantine for 14 days. I've heard he came in without Megan and Archie, as he didn't want them to travel at such a dangerous time. The insider revealed... There are rumors flying about why he came back from spending time with his grandfather to seeing his dad, Prince Charles, for the UK Father's Day. The source adds, Everyone's hoping he's home to finally patch things up, but the trip could see Harry separated from his family for weeks because of current lockdown rules. It is understood Harry most likely wanted to reconnect with members of the royal family during his stay and make an attempt to mend his relationship with his father and brother. Indeed, news of Harry's surprise visit comes just days after Prince Charles and Prince William shared a candid photograph of the two of them together to celebrate Father's Day, which was celebrated in the UK on June 21st. Glaringly absent from the touching social media tribute was any mention of Harry. Royals author Phil Dampier tells New Idea that this photo would have greatly affected the absent prince. Harry would have seen the picture and it must have made him think about what he has done and what he is missing. It's a powerful contrast and the picture demonstrates the importance of family ties. With Charles resting on William's shoulder, the message is that he's going to support and look after his father in the future, come what may. Meanwhile, another royal author, Deb Stratus, has come forward to air her concerns. The royal's expert who penned a historical fiction trilogy based on Diana's life speculates that William and Harry's mother would have been devastated to witness her boys barely on speaking terms. Deb also believes the princess would have been saddened by Harry's recent decision to step down as a senior royal and move abroad. She would have been disappointed in Harry because she really tried to raise him to be a support to William. She saw Harry as second in command. Diana had a strong sense of duty, but as evidenced by Harry's secret trip to the UK, it appears his and Meghan's decision to step away from royal life began long before anyone realized. His trip suggests he has a green card, otherwise he wouldn't be allowed back in because the U.S. has banned incoming passengers from the U.K. unless they are green card holders or citizens, explains the insider. He would have applied for that almost two years ago. Deb also believes Diana would have raised a warning over Harry and Meghan's decision to move to Los Angeles. She would have advised caution about them going down the Hollywood route as it's quite fickle. They love you one day, tear you down the next. Meanwhile, the royal family are no doubt still hoping Harry's flying visit could lead to a more permanent return. They all wish Harry was back for good, says the insider, but the fact his wife and child are by all accounts still in Los Angeles, this is looking unlikely. Meanwhile, with the latest reports saying Prince Charles's earnings have dropped significantly, will he continue to bankroll Harry and Meghan? Well, if Prince Charles does continue to bankroll the unroyals, it will be to his detriment. How? Meghan and Harry are doing nothing to help the royal family with regard to undertaking steady, dependable work, and they live so far away from the UK that the couple cannot truly be considered working royals. Not even a pretense of helping UK charities exists now for them. Meghan and Harry did wish to step back from royal duties, and as we have now seen through videos and first-hand witness accounts, Meghan was ill-suited to perform her royal duties. After barely 15 minutes at a garden party hosted by her and her husband, Megan loudly whined about wanting to leave. She was supposed to greet as many people as possible, and there are thousands at those garden parties, so Megan needed to spend all three hours saying hello and remaining on her feet. Harry and Megan were told they cannot choose which lovely and fun events they want to attend just because the poor little American wife didn't like being bored. A common saying here is who died and made Megan God. She cannot cherry pick events to suit her selfish manners. So now Harry and Meghan are living in Hollywood, doing pretty much nothing other than suing papers and paparazzi and cooking up schemes and ideas. Simply worded, they are not working as royals. 
As such, Prince Charles should not reward laziness or disinterest with money and security. I've stated it before. Harry and Meghan do not need security. They are safely in America. And since they are private citizens, they can do what most citizens do when they aren't awash in money. Get a home security system and go about their lives. Rewarding bad behavior sets up resentment within families, and that is never good. If you had a bum for a brother who laced around taking peaceful walks, hiking, learning to do yoga, enjoying movies with wine, and getting wasted with a local celebrity, and your father was paying him millions to live this life, would you be happy for him? Especially when you discovered your daddy wasn't giving you a cent? Especially more so when you put in 40 hour weeks of work and a little bro is doing nothing? Would you feel resentment? Would it be unfair? How can the monarchy justify paying for the lifestyle choices of Meghan and Harry when their lifestyle is counterintuitive to what being a royal is and what they do? Laziness? Finding peace? Thriving and not surviving by swimming, relaxing, giving a quick half hour talk or photo op to a charity? Popping in unannounced for a quickie pic and handshakes and a hearty word salad of fantastic and wonderful and marvelous job? Yes, because those people at those charities are actually working. Making a few sandwiches is nice in photos. Making sandwiches every day for six hours is tedious and boring. So Megan and Harry are living the high life. I want that life too, please. No work, no jobs, just living in a huge home with my husband and boyfriend, my mom, the nanny, the cleaning staff, sigh, the chef, and I'd have security because I need to be protected against the people who hate me. That's the life. And my dad would pay for me. I'm sure my siblings would feel fine because they have actual jobs, so they don't need my daddy's money. As to Prince William and Catherine, whom Megan called uptight, maybe because their plates are full and yours are rather empty and meaningless, that couple is working hard and raising three children, one of which will be a king one day, God willing. They are carrying the burden and Prince Charles is not giving them any money. Why? Because he is paying through the nose for the exquisite taste of the one time yacht girl and the hapless Harry, who sit around and imagine easy ways to make money. Um, get a real job? Walmart is hiring. Megan has become work shy. She wants to be an actress, but no one seems interested. And her voiceover work for Disney left her with this quip Megan needs Disney more than Disney needs Megan. And then Disney hired a very talented Beyonce to do voiceover work and singing, of course, for $100 million. Megan is not talented like most of Hollywood. If she were, Megan would have been granted a job on a film by now, a series on regular television, or another network would have scooped her up, do a commercial, pick something. Harry is a lazy per his friends in the army, so the lazy couple gets paid, and the working couple with two more kids gets nothing from Prince Charles. Is this the way the monarchy works now? I want to be paid for doing nothing too. If Charles doesn't grow a backbone and stop funding these two charlatans, he will find his country not wanting him to be king. Charles must cut his son off and now. What kind of leverage does Meghan have over Harry and Charles that they pay her money for marrying and leaving after lying about the whole thing? What an ungodly mess. This must wrangle Prince William and Catherine. They are working. This must bother the people of the UK. Charles is weak willed. He cannot say no to Harry. And why not? Prince Charles is ruining what image he had left. Who wants a king who pays out tens of millions for a couple living in Hollywood? Of course, this is going to come back to bite Charles. Of course, he needs to stop paying his almost middle aged kid money for nothing. Paying Harry won't make him miss Diana less. In fact, a lot of work with little time left for contemplation may be just what the doctor ordered. Harry won't have time to think about missing his mum, and besides, that happened so long ago. He needs to pull up his pants, be a big boy, and get on with life. Bad things happen every day to people, and they keep working and accomplishing things. Harry needs to work hard, three jobs at once, and no more money from daddy. Prince Charles can ill afford to pay them any more money. And you? Do you agree with me? Please comment your opinion in the comment section below, and we can discuss Megan and Harry. Remember to like and share my video for anyone you think might be interested. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel to get more news from the royal family. Now, good night and see you in the next video. Goodbye.
Hello everyone, in today's topic we are expressing our views on the bloody brotherhood of Harry and William. I hope they return to normal soon, the age of the two princes is big enough, and the view of life and the amount of money earned are not small. But William preferred humility, Harry was different, he was motivated by Meghan's suggestions, doing things he didn't want to do, Meghan was like a bear. Sadly for Harry's fate, Yao are trying to get rid of the so-called marriage tie, and Archie is the common point, the bond between the two, pay him through the years, if this life had a pill to erase the sign bad memory, Harry should use it. Thank you for listening, please subscribe to our channel.